Mm. Yawn. Four seconds. Nice to see you. Did you see the cat sleep? Dogs? Pigeons? Or even snakes? It's all usual and trivial. Today, we have prepared a selection of truly special animals that surprise us even when sleeping vertically, flying, on one leg, changing the color. No, oh, that's really very cool. So subscribe and let's go. Octopuses. So far, scientists don't know if octopuses can dream. But for some reason, when an octopus sleeps, something strange happens to its body. Its skin constantly changes color. Colorful spots and patterns appear, and they smoothly flow one into another. It's like someone put a slideshow on an octopus. Basically, there is nothing unusual about changing colors. Octopuses really got this. But like other connoisseurs of disguise, they usually do it deliberately. Most likely, the slideshow is related to what the animal dreams of. For example, dark color is a sign that in its dream, an octopus has risen to the surface after a successful hunt and is planning to chill in the company of a delicious crab. Flamingo Flamingos have many differences from other birds. They owe their color to food. The lower part of their beak is fixed, and finally, they can stand on one leg for a long time. What's more, they not only stand, but also sleep on one leg. Try to repeat the flamingo actions, and you will very quickly realize that it's simply unreal to stay like this for such a long time. Here, hold on. Yeah, I'm... Okay, little wobbly, little wobbly. All right, well, you can see it now. At one time, scientists assumed that this was the way flamingos prepared for a sudden escape from a predator. But it turned out that standing on one leg is connected with heat exchange. Flamingos' long bare feet are constantly freezing, so the birds take turns heating them up in their plumage. Almost like people who hide their cold fingers up their sleeves. And yes, flamingos don't feel any discomfort. Their muscles are arranged so that they can even sleep on one leg. Owl babies. Owls are quite strange creatures. I'm fine. Slightly alien, a little intimidating, but funny? Yeah, they're really funny. Just look at their long paws that look like your grandfather's legs and underpants. Check out those feet, man alive. Yeah. But that's not the only thing about them. Little owls love to sleep on their stomachs. We have no idea why. But they can really sleep like this. Like a very tired human cub. Where they fell, there's a bed. And this is not an isolated incident. When the babies take a nap on a branch, they cling firmly to it with their claws so that they don't accidentally fall. And then they lie down on their stomachs. If you sleep on a branch with your claws, give a like to this video. We'll see how many of us there are. Sea otters. The owls are cute, but not enough? Then we suggest you look at the sea otters. Aww. They're definitely very cute, and they too sleep in an unusual way. Sea otters are believed to have the thickest fur, and it seems to help them sleep on their backs while they're in the water. To keep them from going out while they sleep, otters wrap themselves in algae and use it as anchors. Sometimes that's how whole groups of animals sleep together. That is a whole raft of hundreds of fluffy sea otters serenely swinging in the waves. Oh, but that's not the limit of cuteness. Sometimes you can see sea otters clinging to each other with their paws so they don't get swept away by the current. Oh, so cute. Okay, guys, this is the finish line now. Frigate birds. When people can't explain something, they use fantasy. So a bunch of different myths came up about frigates and albatrosses of all kinds. Many people believe that these birds eat, drink, sleep, and reproduce while flying. The only reason for them to land is to lay eggs. Well, in reality, it's all a little different. The frigates are really capable of traveling great distances without falling to the ground. This skill is necessary for them to survive. During long flights over sea areas, they simply don't have the opportunity to rest. Birds can't swim, which means that for them, any landing equals death. They had to work out such restraint and stay in the air for as long as possible. However, this fact didn't prove that the frigates sleep while flying. Who knows? Maybe they don't sleep at all. Scientists had to catch a few individuals, attach special sensors to them, and then let them go. As a result, it turned out that the frigates really do sleep during flight. Now, they sleep very little, about 45 minutes each day in short 10-second intervals, usually after dark. But don't worry about them. The frigates sleep on land, then spend about 12 hours every day on sleeping. Whales. 
The sleep of marine mammals is a very interesting thing, especially when it's a huge whale. Have you ever thought about how whales sleep? Scientists have been racking their brains about it for a long time, because whales need to come up to the surface regularly to take a breath. Besides, in their sleep, they can be easy prey for predators because, well, you know, whales don't usually build holes where they can hide. Well, that'd take a big hole. Anyway, for a while, researchers have assumed that marine mammals don't sleep at all or sleep very little until they found an unexpected answer. Some cestacean species can sleep one cerebral hemisphere at a time and then change it. Typically, this applies to those who are smaller. Larger species can afford to sleep completely. They drift underwater in an upright position with little or no response to external stimuli. The high content of subcutaneous fat allows large cetaceans to remain stationary and even hold them to the surface. For about 10 to 15 minutes, whales sleep tightly, then emerge to the surface for a gulp of air and fall asleep again. Orangutans Human-like monkeys really do look a lot like humans. I mean, they're hairy and not very attractive and they yell, but anyway, we all have a couple of those people that we know. In fact, monkeys, particularly orangutans, even sleep in a very human way. They don't crash wherever they go, but carefully build something like nests and even weave branches and leaves together to make a mattress. A comfortable, fat, soft mattress where you can rest comfortably. Orangutans start off weaving nests at the age of six months and train for a long, long time to succeed. Some individuals might take three or four years to train. A lot of time, especially if you remember that we're talking about a wild animal, which actually doesn't really create many things things in its life. So far, scientists have been arguing why orangutans need mattresses at all. Some argue that monkeys could start making them so they wouldn't fall from tall trees while sleeping, but other researchers believe the opposite. They believe that orangutans weave mattresses because they can. Very human. Giraffes. Have you ever thought that a giraffe is a mixture of a horse and a swan and something like a cheetah and a goat? Anyway, a very strange animal, almost like a platypus, and it rests even weirder. Among all mammals, giraffes have one of the least sleep requirements, 10 minutes to 2 hours a day, and that's without any coffee. As a rule, during the day, giraffes sleep standing up, sometimes sticking their heads between the branches as support. At night, they can sleep lying down like all normal animals, but bend their neck so that they can put their heads on the lower part of their hind limbs, or somewhere near it. By the way, they fall asleep very fast, in 15 to 20 seconds. It's amazing how they don't break their necks. If you already were thinking of repeating the giraffe pose, don't. Just don't. By the way, they say that researchers have been unable to catch these animals sleeping for a long time. It wasn't until the 1970s that the giraffe's dream was finally documented with photographs. Horses. Like many other animals that have evolved in the constant fight against predators, horses can sleep standing up. <laughs> we just lay down. They have kind of a built-in hammock, a system of ligaments and tendons which allow horses to relax without falling or bending their knees. And they still relax. It's a really cool mechanism. Honestly, we're a little jealous. In the wild, it helped the grandparents of modern horses to flee immediately at the sight of a predator without wasting time getting up from the ground. But even today, horses are subconsciously ready to escape. They often sleep by turning to the exit side, though they probably know that there are no saber-toothed tigers nearby. However, all this doesn't mean that horses don't need to lie down at all. Apparently, when they lie down, that they can go into a deep sleep and that rest is for real. Most veterinarians believe that horses can sleep for a few days standing up, but then they need at least two or three hours of normal sleep. Have we told you that we're jealous of them? Yes, we're jealous of them. Imagine if you could do that. Well, we watched the animals sleep. It's now time we looked into their heads. Not literally, of course, but have you ever wondered if animals are capable of dreaming? Aristotle wrote that horses and dogs and goats have dreams. He had quite reliable proof. For example, dogs bark in their dreams, and if they bark, then they dream about something. And you know, it seems like the ancient Greek philosopher was right. Of course, people haven't learned to talk to animals since, but they've developed science enough. You can find out the truth about dreams without questions. One way is to look at the behavior of animals during different stages of sleep. Another is to analyze the work of a sleeping brain and compare it to the work of the human brain. When scientists did this, they were surprised. 
surprised, it turned out that not only dogs and similar animals can dream, but also rats and birds. For example, rats who were running through a maze during the day were dreaming about a maze. Canaries sing in their dreams, but some questions are not yet answered by scientists. Do animals realize when they sleep and when they're awake? Do they remember their dreams? And what do they really see? So if you're going to study this question, be sure to tell us about the results. You can do that right in the comments. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and write what animal surprised you the most. Hmm. Oh well, I'm going to bed. See you soon.